After a landslide election win, the Northern Territory's new chief ministers preparing to deliver a key election promise to become the country's first jurisdiction to lower the age of criminal responsibility from 12 back to 10. We have to start to look at the evidence from around the world and in Australia that shows that the younger you lock up children, the more likely they are to go on to meet, commit more and more violent crimes. Well, what evidence does the Human Rights Commission have that it doesn't? A recent report from the Commissioner into evidence-based approaches to youth justice recommends raising the age of criminal responsibility to 14 as jurisdictions around the country grapple with youth crime. In Queensland, both parties are making tough-on-crime pitches a major focus ahead of the election. In Western Australia, the government's announced plans for a new youth detention centre following the state's first teenage death in custody. What is world's best practice is smaller therapeutic facilities based in communities. Advocates are concerned that around the country, politicians are making youth justice pitches that ignore the evidence on how to make the community safer and the interests of children and teenagers who are too young to vote. A coalition of national legal and medical experts is in Canberra to call for federal reform, including the former minister who handed down the findings of the Royal Commission into Aboriginal deaths in custody. If you had have told me that the system would not have improved over those 33 years, and that we hadn't followed the world's best practice, I would never have believed it. Because this country has indeed failed. The acting Prime Minister was unavailable for comment on the calls for national youth justice reform. Lillian Rangia, ABC News, Darwin.